So this is the gameplay from the Lurker build that we're going to be doing on Big Bank. Um, for this mission we're just going to be uh, duoing. I'm with Metal Junk here. Hello Meta Junk. Hi there. <laughs> and so I will be using the build with the car 4 that I've shown in the video and the, uh, the RPG. So let's get to it. I will be live coming. I will be doing live commentary on this. As I always do with my gameplay videos. So we're gonna get the first key card. And uh, I'm looking for the other one. Yeah. Open the door. Already um, yeah, I'm gonna check the right computer now. Upstairs. I think it indeed is. Maybe one of these four. Yeah, got it. And I also got the last code. All right. So he's gonna do the com the, um, the rewiring upstairs, and I'll be defending downstairs here. So as you can see, I'm taking out some units really far away of the car for It's a really solid weapon. One shotting most of the units, uh, except except the cloaker. If I don't tag them, and except the taser, because they have so many life, like so much HP. I need to start the time lock, otherwise that's not good. And how much damage do you have with the car 4? So the car 4 is 190 damage, able to one-shot oh, the nice. tents. Which is why we are using Silent Killer in the build. So the very big clip here allows us to take out a lot of units before you actually have to reload. And even then you can reload while running. So you're very mobile as well. And if you see a dozer, or if you hear a dozer, just, you know, never hesitate to use the RPG. Although there, that wasn't necessary because the dozer is obviously not there. It's probably around. Okay, those are over there. We don't need to use the RPG there because only four shots to the place should be enough. There we go, he's dead. So this is another good thing to build. You don't have to use the RPG. This is just for sticky situations. But those can be taken out pretty quickly. Like this. That was a black dozer. If you hide good enough, you won't have a problem dealing with them. We got one minute twenty eight <coughs> seconds left on the time lock here. I guess your build can work with um, um, all the MR weapons. Yes, Maybe. as explained in the video, the build works with the Car Four, the MR sixteen, the AK rifle, and the M three hundred eight. Although M three hundred eight is kind of long to reload and only has ten bullets in the clip, it's not ideal, uh, but it has a really good has a really good pickup though. I need to be careful about him. Thanks. Ah, this taser. It should be gone though. Uh, there's a black dozer here and a white. Take them both out with the um, RPG there. Well, as you can see, we are moving a lot using kill merch with full potential. And you'll notice every time that I have to reload, I'm kind of backing in another position. So I can reposition myself, knowing where the cops are. Uh, 
So the Gunfor is a really good weapon. The only downside would be its stability is kind of kind of lacking. But if, if you get used to it, it's not a problem. Anyway, with DMR, maybe stability is not the more important thing. Yeah, because you are shooting bullet per, per bullet, and it's it's not a big issue to have stability issue. Although you can use the AMR16 if it bothers you, as the AMR16 have way much more stability, but picks up a little bit less ammo. Uh, it's still two to three bullets for pickup, but you will pick up most of the time. You'll pick up two bullets rather than three. You would have less chances of getting three bullets in the call four, so that's why I'm using it. So this mission is just to demonstrate the build. We're not doing full loot or anything like this. We're just doing minimal loot here. So since you're using Rider, don't be afraid to go toe to toe with the enemy. This is what the build is for. You're supposed to be killing a lot of cops. Your build can handle quite much. Taking out tasers that are tasing you with DMR is also really, really good because your clip is so big, it gets instantly reloaded by the taser, uh, so... Doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <you know. laughs> so we have a bunch of chills there. One, one of the things that you have to be wary about is the taser situation here with the RPG. You don't want to be... Shooting the RPG on yourself or with your teammate. So at least sometimes it happens. And I'm the dead. So while you're down and if you have no one inside you can try to reload your RPG. That didn't work. Ooh, there's the clock around. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Wasn't really careful there. Trying to take out some units when you're on the ground, but didn't work. Alright. Out of ammo, obviously, we can use some, that's why we brought it. Um, I can place one medibag bag here. Maybe. Yes, thank you. I will heal now because it's rather safer that way. As explained in the video, you can also take some hostage if you want, dominate some cops, although don't risk your life for it, because that unit will pretty much die straight away. So, this is another thing the build is good for. Um, the captain's coming, and the RPG can pretty much take out the captain in two or three rockets, and it's pretty beast at doing that. So captain we are going to go to the captain. Okay, so that's problematic. We have a shield just in front of a black dozer. I'll take him out of the RPG. Um, let me check upstairs. Uh, yes, it's open uh, upstairs. We can uh, go through there if you want. That's uh, okay, I'm already downstairs uh, near the captain. Okay. So yeah, you go toe to toe with the captain, and there he's just gonna be spammed with rockets. Rocket launchers are a very powerful weapon, although here it's taking three rockets, rather. Because <laughs> I didn't go around the captain, so I pretty much killed the ones that were up front, but not the one backwards. So as explained, you can take a hostage every once in a while. See, the converted unit kind of protected me from the dozer there, so I could take him out safely. So this is why sometimes you want to take a ho um, not a hostage, a dominated cop. As I said, it's not mandatory, it's always nice. I've totally forgotten that I've killed her. <laughs> you don't use it often, you yeah, forget about it. Never played with it. But this is also the case of many people who are probably going to try this build. They're not used to 
playing with Kilmer, so yeah, they kind of forgot they have it. I can hardly forget that I have it because it's such a great asset that I, I'm i going to use it. It really allows you to run everywhere. Trying to take this hostage, this cup hostage. Just convert him. There we go. Again. Again, as I said, you'll see that he's he's not fighting for long, no. but Thanks. No problems. Alright, we're just gonna find the keys now. Uh, yeah. Keys are not here. It's not here either. Yeah. Alright, got it. Okay. I'm just quickly gonna open this. So as I said in the build video, I will be kind of describing what mods I use on the other assault rifles because I couldn't do it in the in the whole video. That would have taken me way too much time. So I'm trying to find the room with the most money. I'm gonna have to open multiple doors. Okay, so um, I just come with you. So. Okay. Opening. Oh god, uh, I don't have pastels. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh shit, there, were a there was a room here with four bags and such a moron. So, about the build, um, also to let you know that I often play this on stream. So if you want to see um, you know, more gameplay of this build, other than this video, you can visit me. I will also put the link down in the description below. This is the fade. Perfect timing. Jacket, come with me. Mm. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe what downstairs on the left. No, no, no. We're gonna go upstairs where the hole is. It's always easier. Okay. And I think I don't have Shinobi either. <laughs> it's okay. Pockets in the. It's just four bags. And in the pockets. <laughs> yeah, it's almost done anyway. So, we are pretty safe right now. So one thing you're very good at is taking care of snipers. So do it for your team as soon as you can. And for your ass too. <laughs> yeah, for your own ass too. Because <laughs> snipers tend to hurt. But this build is really good at taking them out. And especially on Slaughterhouse, it really shines at taking out the five snipers really, really quickly. Because it feels like this weapon is really pinpoint accurate, so... We go. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little gameplay video. I will see you guys around. Thank you for checking me out. And as always, have a good day, heisters. See ya. Bye bye.